Hello, good people. This is Mr. Hagag, and I'm going to explain how to print stuff to the screen using Java's print commands. So in my previous tutorial, what I did was I showed you guys how to create a project and a class. Now I'm going to show you the basic print commands for um, Java. So I'm going to go ahead and load up Eclipse. Do -do 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 -do. I'm going to create a new project. Java project, I'm going to call it print prac. If you don't know how to create a new project, watch my previous video. And then I'm going to create a new class within that project. And I'm going to call it, I don't know, print stuff. And I'm going to include main. Again, ignore the warnings here. We'll talk about that later. And I'm going to include main so that I have um, main within this class and finish okay so right now i have the name of my class is print stuff the name of my java file my source code is print stuff .java. Um, before i talk about print statements i'm going to talk about comments um, a comment is anything that the compiler ignores so i can type whatever i want inside the comment and the compiler is going to ignore it because it doesn't matter it doesn't have to be java syntax it could just be um, uh, whatever you want and it's usually uh, hints or clues or comments, notes for yourself. So if you're going to look back at your code years from now or a day from now, you can um, have notes for whatever uh, method or um, variable you're creating. Okay, so there's two ways to make comments in uh, Java. The first way is to put a forward slash and then a star followed by another star and then a forward slash. If you're confused about which is forward slash, which is backslash, forward slash um, leans forward and backslash leans back. So if you're facing the computer and you turn right and then you lean back, that's the backslash. If you're facing your computer and you turn right, you lean forward, that's a forward slash. So anyways, anything you type um, in the comments section is ignored. So I can type whatever I want and it's going to ignore it because it's not, it's not even seen by the compiler. Okay. The other way to, to do a comment is to put um, double forward slash. So that's two forward slashes and then type what I want. And again, it's going to ignore it. I'm just going to delete these comments so that we don't get confuzzled when we talk about print statements. Okay, print statements. Um, Java's print statement is quite simple. All you have to do is type in system dot out dot print ln and then open close parentheses and then within the open close parentheses you have quotations um, and then you type what you want so I'm gonna print uh, I am so cool okay period so I'm gonna print I am so cool so the quotations is the equivalent um, it's the equivalent of like the um, speech bubble in a comic so if I have a comic and I'm reading the comics or like a cartoon um, the speech bubble is basically what the cartoon character says, so whatever is inside these quotations are going to be whatever is printed to the screen. So it's literally going to print, I am so cool. So I'll go ahead and run that. Let me bring this up. I'm going to right click, run as Java application, and it's going to print, I am so cool. Quite simple. Um, a cool Eclipse shortcut for system.print instead of typing the whole system.out.print uh, to save yourself like an extra second or more if you type slower. Just type in syso, S-Y-S-O, and then control space. Again, that's syso, S-Y-S-O, all lowercase, and then control space and it automatically fills it for you. Then I can print yersh, I am. And I can run that again and it'll print it. Okay. Um, so that's the basic print statement. Now the LN in print LN stands for line, which basically means it's going to print a new line at the end of the string. So as you can see, it printed I am so cool, and then it went to the next line and printed Yersh I am. Okay. If I removed the LN from this print statement, which is also a valid print statement, it will not print the new line at the end. So for example, if the name of my... I mean, if I want to print cat food, and then on the next line, I say is good, okay, don't eat cat food. It's going to print 
Here, I'll run it and show you. It's gonna print, can't, food is good. See how there's no new line between food and is good. Even though I have two separate print statements here, because I didn't explicitly tell it to go to the next line, it's not gonna go to the next line. So I have to put LN here for me to go to the next line and print cat food new line is good. So the LN puts a new line at the end of the string. Cool. The other way that you can make a new line is by using a backslash. Let me give you an example with that. So this is um, uh, good backslash n night. Sir. Okay, at first glance that looks like good night, sir. It says good night, sir, but it's not gonna print good night, sir. Because the backslash n is the new line character. So whenever you have a backslash n within the quotations, it's gonna print a new line. So it's gonna print good space, and then it goes, oh, backslash n, new line. So it creates new line. So the n is taken out, and then it prints it, sir. Cool? So it's gonna print good new line it sir so um and then new line at the end of that you don't really see it you might see it if you see the cursor blinking okay so that's um how to print stuff to the screen now what if i wanted to print a quotation like what if i literally wanted to print like let's say i wanted to print i am cool but within quotations okay if i go ahead and print and just type that right here, and I type, I am cool, within quotations, uh, the compiler's gonna complain. It's gonna be like, whoa, what are you doing? It's all confused, because in our minds, we say, okay, this is the first quotation, and this is the last quotation, and everything else in between gets printed. Right? Wrong. Um, the problem here is that when I have the quotation on the inside, the compiler thinks that that's the end of the um, string that I wanna print. So to get around that, if I ever want to print a quotation and not leave my compiler confuzzled, I'm going to put a backslash before the quotations that I want to print. So in this case, it's going to print I am backslash quote means it's going to print a quote. And again, backslash is if you face your screen, turn it to the right, lean back, that's backslash. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. And it's going to print I am quotation, C-O-O-L quotation, and then... Um, yeah, that's how I print quotations. And I think the same, the same goes for single quotes, which is like the apostrophe. So I could do that as well. So it's going to go ahead and print I am cool with single quotes around cool. Okay. Um, so what do we do? We did sysnot.print. We did sysnot.println. We did quotations. Yeah, that's it. So that's it for um, print statements. I'll show you guys later how to declare variables and then... Um, print variables, but for now have a good night or good morning or afternoon or whatever time of the day. All right. Goodbye